Hello Year 6. Today we are going to continue uh, Cambridge Primary Checkpoint exam April 2020 paper 1 questions from 6 to 12. Okay, let's start with question number 6. Sophia and Lily use the internet. They find some information about plant growth. Okay, we have here a graph. We have the x axis having the temperature in degrees Celsius and growth rate of the plant on the y axis. We have plant A, B, C. 6A Which plant grows the fastest when the temperature is 30? Let's see. The temperature is 30 here. So let's go up to see which one grows the fastest. The one is what? Plant A. Which plant grow, uh, stops growing when the temperature is 45? So at 45 here, 40, 50, so 45 is here. So which one stopped growing here? Huh? Which one plant C here stopped growing at 45? So we have plant C. Question number seven. This question is about sound. Decide if each statement is true or false. Tick the correct box. Sound travels at the same speed through all materials. We know that sound travels. Is it at the same speed through all materials? Uh, true or false? It's actually false because sound travels at different speed through different materials volume of sound is measured in decibels so the unit to measure the sound is decibel that's true b decide if each statement is true or false tick the correct box the strings of a violin vibrate to make sound true or false true hitting a drum harder when you have a drum and you are hitting it harder makes a softer sound false because it makes a louder sound because when you hit harder you get more vibrations so more vibrations mean the sound is louder question number eight Jamila investigates bones in a human hand. Jamila says that all the bones in the hand are different. So this is a human hand and Jamila is investigating the bones and they actually look different. She makes some measurements. A. What equipment does she use to measure the length? So what's the measuring tool for the length great we have the ruler or someone may say measuring tape b what equipment does she use to measure the mass what do we use to measure the mass so the equipment or the tool is the balance Write down one other measurement she can make. So here Jamila, she's measuring the length. She is measuring the mass. What else could we measure regarding the bones? We could measure actually the volume. We could measure the width. So we could measure the strength. So any of these answers are correct.
or we also can measure hardness or softness how hard and how soft so you can choose and write any of these answers question nine priya investigates shadows she makes different animal shades and put them on sticks complete the sentences to describe how the animal shadows are formed Animal shadows are made when light from a source is. So how are shadows formed when light is blocked? In other words, when light is obstructed. So if you write blocked or obstructed, both are correct. The animal shapes and the sticks make a shadow. This is because the material they made, they are made from is. What materials make the shadow when it is what it's opaque? We can see the light passing through the eye of the animal shape. Here I can see the light passing through the eye because the eye of the animal is transparent. Or you can just say is see through. So either transparent or see through both are correct. Question 10. Complete the sentences about food chains. Let's recall what's the food chain. The food chain is the feeding relationship. So for example, if I have grass, Grass is he eaten by a rabbit. Rabbit is eaten by a fox. So this is a simple food chain. So the food chain shows what relationship food shows the feeding relationship. The animal that chases and eats other animals, like here, what do we call the fox? The fox is called the predator. A plant that makes its own food is called, like here we have grass, it's the producer. So the food chain starts with the producer, ends with the predator. Question number 11. Class 6 have a quiz about forces. Complete the answers to the quiz. What's the unit of mass? Unit of force, unit of weight. So mostly this question is about the units. Units and measurements, it's a very important topic. What's the unit of mass? Mass is measured in kg, which is kilogram. What's the unit of force? It's Newton, N. If you write N or Newton, both are correct. What's the unit of weight? Also, weight is measured in Newtons. What's the name of the force that makes objects fall on the earth? So what's the attraction force to the center of the earth? This is called gravity. Question number 12. Animals are suited to their environment. Yes, there is. Every animal has to adapt to the environment. Here is a picture of a snail. I have a snail here with its soft body. Some snails live in the desert. They need to keep their soft body wet. Describe one way snails keep their soft body from drying out. So this is a snail living in the desert. The desert has very, very high temperature and what does the snail have to do so it can live? How is it adapted? Okay, one way that snails have what snails have, slime, to keep it wet. Also, what can snails do? They can move into the shell or they can move into shade so if you write any of these 
it's considered correct. Snails need to know where they are going. What do snails use to help them know where they are going? So which part, which part here is responsible for directing the snail where to go, for example? Here the snail has tentacles, or in other words, antenna. Okay, and here they have their eyes, so they can know where they are going. So the answer is antenna, or in other words, the tentacles. Someone else may say they can use their eyes, or they can use their senses. Okay, so this is question 12, and now our session has come to an end. Hope you enjoyed it. Till we meet, thank you so much.